we have a resident expert, Christmas expert, Bobby Jensen here. Thanks for joining me. Well, that is where it all began, 1994. Go and meet this Bobby guy and do a gardening story. The big challenge is that 20 years later, we have filed 52 stories a year. In every season, roughly 1,000 stories. Even when everything was frozen, we had to find something growing. Well, it might surprise you that this is a perfect day to tap a maple tree. Winter days that eventually lengthened to spring blossoms, to summer blooms that were jaw-dropping. Look at the annuals in this place. You can really see the heights and the colors and what they're really supposed to look like if you do the right thing. <laughs> then to the fabulous foliage of fall. The Arboretum was a place of inspiration and education over the years, and we can't thank them enough for letting us share their gorgeous accomplishments in countless Grow With Care stories. Charity garden tours made for great stories, meticulous gardens that were shared in order to give back, from Summit Avenue in St. Paul to the bluffs of the Minnesota River in Bloomington and everywhere in between. Who would have thought that the tropics were in Plymouth and that vines would burst with tomatoes in Owatonna? or that one million stems of roses could be grown under glass just down the road. How wonderful that we had a weekly opportunity to learn, guide, reference, and... We're gonna be taking phone calls again right after the break. And give us a call, the numbers are on your screen, and we'll have some answers for you when we come back. So then we're gonna put all these in the blender. Hopefully teach a few things. Oh my well, most of the time, it worked. But probably the biggest story of them all was right in our own CARE 11 backyard. The Builders Association of the Twin Cities help us recreate a 31-year-old backyard. And we started in February with the plans and all the way through the summer, it was amazing. Well, Grow With Care 2016, another fabulous year. You know, like always, we learned new things, we grew new things, we met great people. And the overall theme was definitely for 2016, pollinators and how important it is to grow gardens that they are attracted to. In spring, we looked at seeds for the bees at Bachman's. July, we celebrated Pollinator Day at Tonkerdale, and then we visited a pollinator garden in St. Anthony. That's right, uh, and in the fall, we were both so excited to see the world-renowned Tagian Bee Center opening at the Arboretum. Hello. We had adventures with chickens in St. Paul, Hi. talking about the growing trend of backyard coops. And then one of my favorite stories, the goats in the East Metro, that were eating, taking care of the dreaded invasive buckthorn. The acres and acres of strawberries, oh, strawberries in June at the Pine Tree Apple Orchard there in early summer. And then of course, as we went through the end of summer, the semi truckloads of blooms that came from Indiana to make the Ryder Cup even more colorful late in the summer. Well, we're here on beautiful Summit Avenue where they have a stroll this Sunday. 2017 was our 24th year of shooting Grow With Care highlighting gardeners, gardens, and learning a few things along the way. And look at the different sizes, shapes, colors. Even in the rain, the Hosta collection on Summit Avenue was breathtaking. And who could forget the winter flower show as gardeners get to go in where it's blossoming in winter in the historic Marjorie McNeely Conservatory. The sunken garden never disappoints, and what a treat during these gray, chilly months at this latitude. We can't forget, of course, Laura Betker shooting so many fantastic stories in 2017, including that beautiful peace labyrinth. And who could forget that crazy place growing mushrooms next to the river. Indoors. That's right. It's foggy in here because we're growing mushrooms. And so we started meeting with the host committee two and a half years ago, and here we are today. Well, our year started out super as our city and state hosted Super Bowl 52. There were 2,500 Bailey's Endless Summer Hydrangeas, and they were the star of this winter celebration. As always, one of our favorite destinations, the Landscape Arboretum. They amazed us in the spring with crab apples and blew us away with the bounty of full pumpkins and gourds. Revel Greens, it is a revolutionary growing process where they actually are giving us produce 365 fresh from just a few miles down the road. 133 years of Bachman's. So happy to join Dale Bachman and talk to him as he moves on to his next chapter. Thank you, Dale, for all that you have done for gardening in Minnesota. We want to thank you for all of the great ideas, 25 years of ideas, but with our new Facebook page, it's easier and we're getting even better ideas. I know, it's unbelievable, and 25 more. Okay, let's you do think? it. Maybe, Maybe one, let's try for one more. 25. <laughs> Thanks thank for you. watching.